What's good, homie G Squab? Today, what we're gonna do is install a Sigwin window, basically anywhere. So um, you can open up a Sigwin window here, or you can go into desktop, go to this folder, open up Sigwin window here, and it's basically a Windows context menu thing. You just right click and it says bash prompt here. Here, I appointed it to FTP client, and there, appointed it to FTP client. So now you can do an LS, and then you can edit all your files right from Sigwin. And anyways, you wanna install a package called C-H-E-R-E, -E, Sherry. And I think that's how it's uh, pronounced, but you want to go to shells and then make sure that this is says install on here. I, I have keep because I already installed it and I don't want to go through the trouble of reinstalling it again because this Sigwin packager takes a long time. Anyways, go ahead and close it out. I mean, sorry, not close it out. Go ahead next and uh, make sure that you install everything because I'm going to close it out because I've already installed it as I explained prior to this. So what you want to do now is you want to go to the place that you installed Sigwin. So for default users, that's local C and then Sigwin. And inside here, you want to find Sigwin.bat. Go ahead and right click on it and run as administrator. Here, you're going to do run this command. So C-H-E-R-E space dash I for install dash T to choose your terminal. And your terminal is min TTY. And min TTY is the default terminal that Sigwin uses. Go ahead and just hit enter. You're not gonna get all these errors unless you type something wrong or you did the installation wrong, but I'm getting all these errors because I already have it installed. As you can see, it says not overriding existing entry. Something's already installed. So now you have it installed. So go to any folder on your computer, any folder. I'm just gonna go to random folders here, get any motion, whatever. Right click here and hit bash prompt here. And Sigwin will open up pointing to that window. And then you can go ahead and make sure that you're in the right directory and you can have access to all the files if you have the permissions. And that's basically it. So that is how you um, mod Sigwin so that you can open it with uh, the right click menu in Windows. Thanks for watching. This is iPod Apps Weekly, signing out. Peace, y'all.